Hey, Broadway Christian Church. It's a Friday afternoon and wanted to give you a brief update on a couple of things uh, just to get you ready for Sunday and also to let you know something that should be happening next week. Uh, as most of you know, uh, this Friday we will be opening up the doors here at 910 Broadway. Uh, if you would like to come on Sunday morning to be a part of uh, the gathering here at our church building, please feel free to do that. Uh, we are encouraging, however, that if you um, have uh, another family or um, some friends or your small group to gather with and to, to meet together in a smaller group and to live stream the service that way, uh, I think that's a great opportunity to be together and to be face to face uh, with one another and to worship, um, worship God in, in one another's home. I think that's a really um, important and um, a new thing for, for us right now and something that God may be even calling us to do. Uh, in this season is to uh, emphasize uh, these smaller uh, friendships and these smaller group relationships. And so if you are able to do that and feel comfortable to do that, um, it's important as much as we are able uh, to be able to be face to face right now. So we encourage you to do that. If you do come here on Sunday morning, uh, we are asking you to, to practice uh, social distancing as, been, has, as, been, as has been described to you by um, our authorities over the last couple of months. Uh, we've set up the, uh, the sanctuary. Uh, we've marked off some certain pews to, uh, um, to accommodate some distancing. And as well, when we, we receive communion on Sunday, your, your elders will be um, distributing that. You'll be coming forward. We'll be distributing that and we'll be wearing uh, masks and, um, and gloves when we distribute communion to you. Also wanted to let you know that um, over this last week, um, and really over the last month or so, I've been talking with a lot of people about uh, their thoughts and feelings about this, the things that are difficult for them personally, uh, the ideas that they have for our church, as well as the ideas they have for, um, you know, about what's happening in general in our world right now. And uh, have, have been listening to people who believe lots of different things about what's happening. And so next week, um, Lord willing, I'm going to be hosting a, a moderated discussion with four other people in our congregation um, who have a range of different views and, and ideas about what's happening right now. And I just want to do that in order to give us an opportunity to bring those things into the light and for, uh, for us to have an opportunity to dialogue with one another. And uh, friends, this, these, um, the things that are happening right now and the decisions that your leaders have had to make uh, friends, this should not in any way uh, divide us or cause us to lose the unity that we share here at Broadway. And I uh, want uh, to ask you that um, wherever you are and whatever your position is on what's happening, uh, to assume the very best of your brothers and sisters and the motivations that, that are in their hearts. And so I'm hoping that this moderated discussion will give us an opportunity to to hear some different ideas and to, to sense the, the heart and the love of Jesus that, um, that even um, is a part of all of those different people's positions and their opinions on things. And so um, I'm looking forward to that. I think it has a great opportunity for us to, um, again, express our uncommon unity here at Broadway. Friends, as your leaders have, have prayed together, together over the last couple of weeks about this, um, we have been very much in unity about the decisions that we've made. Um, there has just been real clarity around the table. And I, I want to remind you that if, um, you know, if you're frustrated or disappointed about this, I get that. I'm frustrated and, and disappointed about where we are right now. Uh, but we're going to be making decisions two weeks at a time. Uh, things are going to be changing. What we decided for this Sunday is not going to be the same thing that we're doing in June or in July. And so um, well, please be patient. Continue to pray for us as leaders as we seek to, to discern what's best for our body right now. We love you very much. And I love you and I miss you. For those who are here Sunday, I'm looking forward to seeing you. And I hope to hear some great stories about God's people gathering together in smaller groups this Sunday and worshiping the Lord together. God bless you and peace to you, Broadway.